What's going on guys? Crypto Renegade again here for you and in today's video I'm going to talk to you about crypto airdrops explained and why you should care because you could be leaving a lot of money on the table. But before I jump into the content I just updated my free new ebook 7 best ways to secure your crypto updated for 2021. It's 100% free so go ahead and check that out in the description below and it will also be pinned in the comments. All right, let's get started. We are gonna jump right back into what crypto airdrops are and why you should care. You could be leaving lots of money on the table, so pay attention to understand this fully and how to check for these airdrops and if you are eligible. So as we jump into this new world of crypto airdrops, let's first define what this is exactly. The crypto airdrop is a practice whereby existing holders of a certain crypto, such as Bitcoin, receive free tokens as a reward. In layman's terms, it is a giveaway that aims to promote a particular blockchain project. It also rewards loyal customers in a bid to ensure that they continue to subscribe to a particular blockchain or platform. In the cryptoverse, the same basic offer is true, but crypto airdrops are instead used as a form of marketing and distributed to build communities around projects in the early phases and stages of development. Alternatively, and more recently, governance tokens have been airdropped to users of a platform, allowing them to take a bigger role in the governance of a project as well as be rewarded for their loyalty or early adoption of that project. Now, most companies or products in the space nowadays are selling airdrops like it's the new Bitcoin, like this. Redskins, Dotto Heads, Tepid Lemonade. Get out of it. Redskins, Dotto Heads, Tepid Lemonade. Hey, I'll take uh, five of your rat skins and one of those tepid lemonades. It's one chicken, mate. It's not a chicken. No, 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 that's much better than a chicken, my friend. That is gold. What? Gold, the currency of the future. Great, come back in the future. Rat skin, no, 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 mate, I don't think you understand. This has unlimited use. Can I eat it? No. Can I wear it? N no. You're... Can I use it as firewood? No. It's starting to sound pretty limited, mate. But you can melt it and then turn it into whatever you want. Can I turn it into food? No, you Sorry. can't eat it. Is this going to take oh. long? Hold all your horses, mate. We are dealing in futures here. Oh, what's that? Is that a rock? No, worse. It's cold. Oh, cold. How do I get some cold? Gold. I have people mining for it. So now that you have an idea of what most of us seasoned crypto vets react when we get pitched some new airdrop of the week, but there are some of them that are actually pretty valuable. So let's go over some of the different kinds of airdrops so you have a better understanding and idea. So there are different types of airdrops. In this case, each requires a different set of actions to avail the reward. Furthermore, it is vital that anyone wishing to participate in any type must first have these three things, a crypto wallet, some crypto such as Bitcoin, EOS, or Ethereum, and a reliable and up-to-date information resource about crypto airdrops such as Twitter or airdrops.io. So the first one is a standard airdrop, second is bounty airdrop, holder airdrop, hard fork airdrop, and exclusive airdrop. So standard airdrop, these crypto airdrops require you to sign up for a newsletter or something similar. Interested people can simply register with a name and email ID and instantly qualify for that airdrop. Bounty airdrop, in this case, you need to perform an activity to qualify for the crypto airdrop. The most common activity includes tweeting about the project or participating on the platform. Three, holder airdrop, this kind of airdrop happens when you hold certain tokens in your wallet. For example, EOS-based crypto airdrops offer some free tokens to you, provided that you're holding EOS tokens in your wallet. Hard fork airdrop, this is when a hard fork happens from its original protocol. The holders of the original coin are qualified for the new coins airdrop as well. The Bitcoin cash airdrop on Bitcoin holders is a perfect example of this. 
It's never easy to admit that some that you've been fooled. And five, exclusive airdrops. Suppose you are a loyal member of a particular project, website, club, etc. You may qualify for exclusive airdrops, which everyone else may not. As the name suggests, this airdrop is reserved exclusively for a specific community. Uniswap, for example, rewarded loyal users in September 2020 with 2,500 uni tokens, which on the day of delivery equated to around $1,250 with no strings attached. As of shooting this video, however, that 2,500 uni, if you still have it, is worth over $57,000 just for using the protocol early enough. Why do people give away free coins via airdrops if it's so valuable? There are several different reasons that someone might want to issue an airdrop for their projects. Here are a few of the most prominent reasons. Number one, generating awareness. One of the most important roles of airdrops is to create awareness. While ICOs have raised more than $7 billion in 2018, the fact remains that a major chunk of those funds were raised by a handful of projects. Because of the sheer number of projects that are out there, most of the promising ICOs don't even get any of the attention that they deserve. So instead of potential users painfully going through ICOs and hunting down good projects and investing in them, what if these projects gave you a few of their tokens for free? Well, you will automatically get a stake in that system, right? The moment you do that, if you're an experienced investor, you will want to learn more about that project. Number two, understanding the users. So what is the purpose of filling out a form like this? By filling them up, the company will gain more information about you, a potential user, which will help them make their marketing more focus on solutions towards their ideal audience. In other words, trading your information for a free token. Number three, raising funds. EOS airdrops have actually turned out to be a great fundraising method. So how will that work? Let's check it out. Suppose we are creating on an EOS blockchain and this dApp uses ASD tokens. We have issued 100 million ASD tokens and after the launch of the project, each ASD token is gonna to be valued at 10 cents. So the total market cap of your token is 100 million times 10 cents equals 10 million. As soon as you launch, you decide to allocate 20 million of these tokens for EOS drops. If you do the math, that's 20 million times 10 cents, which is 2 million, that you are allocating just for free giveaways. So your overall capital goes down from 10 million to 8 million, 10 minus two, but as your airdrop campaign continues and social media gets flooded with news about your token and you get more eyes on your project, provided that you actually have a good model, you will have more people posting about you and studying up on what you actually have to offer. This will increase the perceived value of those tokens. Even if the value of each ASD token rises by only four cents, the overall value of your tokens will go up four cents times 80, which equals about 11.2 million. So by giving away 20% of your tokens, you have raised 11.2 minus 10, so 1.2 million, without even selling a single token. That's how fundraising in airdrops work. Number four, rewarding or inspiring loyalty. Loyalty among crypto users is a very rare thing. The average user just wants to make as much money as possible, and that way they do it by consistently running behind the next big token, leaving the newcomers behind. Some airdrops are constructed in such a way that the more tokens you hold, the more you receive in subsequent airdrops. So if a user is actually loyal to a token and keeps a substantial amount of it in their wallet, they can be rewarded with more tokens by that company. At the same time, airdrops can inspire loyalty among users too, since they are actually now incentivized to buy and keep those tokens one of the worst things that can happen to an ICO is a hostile takeover by whales. So what exactly are whales? A whale is a really rich investor who buys a lot of tokens in an ICO and doesn't let anyone else get a slice of their pie. So let's work through an infamous example here, shall we? The BAT or basic attention token ICO had a lot of hype because it was Brendan Ike's brainchild. 
Brendan Eich happens to be the same guy who created JavaScript and the browser Mozilla Firefox. When the BAT ICO did happen, one whale took control over 20.7% of the BAT tokens in existence. Turns out that five accounts own more than 50% of all BAT tokens in existence. Now, you can guess why this is a problem, right? The idea of cryptocurrencies is that they are supposed to be decentralized. But what happens if a majority of tokens are taken over by a few people? It won't really be that decentralized now, will it? So this leads to the final and most important question of the video. How do I take part in these airdrops? You can get involved anytime you want to. There are just three things that you will need to get started. First, a crypto wallet. Second, the base tokens. And third, access to the right information. As we just touched on, there are a few websites where you can search for airdrops. And as long as you have a crypto wallet that supports that airdrop or the base tokens from which that airdrop comes from, and you have access to the right websites or subreddits and or websites to see if and when you are eligible to claim some free tokens. Here are a few examples of how I locate such airdrops. If you are not into making your own tokens and distributing an airdrop yourself, you can always search the net for upcoming airdrops. For example, the website airdrops.io is an online resource that discloses which airdrops are coming out next. The site shows the hottest airdrops, latest airdrops, exclusive airdrops, and also the associated telegram channels with those airdrops and announcements. Twitter airdrops, and then also basically every coin giveaway underneath the sun. Airdrops.io verifies and aggregates airdrops and bounties daily to bring you the most recent and profitable earning opportunities. Choose an airdrop and follow the instructions provided to claim free crypto tokens is what the website says. A few airdrops advertised on the website include coin giveaways from Bitcoin Rhodium, PointPay, Simcoin, Escher, Daps, and Binance Jex. For each airdrop, the website explains the giveaway details and how you get involved. There are a bunch of other airdrop guide and review websites as well, such as airdropter.com, coinairdrops.com, and airdropalert.com, just as a few other examples. Wrapping this up and putting a full recap on this, airdrops are a tool employed by companies to drive increased awareness and distribution. For users, they are a way to become invested from the start and make an income online. Mostly, the arrangement seems like a win-win situation for both parties. But as with anything in the crypto world, there are fraudsters and there are scams out there trying to take advantage of naive investors. Remember to always educate yourself and do your own research. If you do your homework correctly, then as an investor, you can make money from these airdrops. If you are a dApp developer, then airdrops will help. You will reach a user base and distribution far beyond traditional advertising, if executed correctly. So what do you guys think? Have you received any airdrops yet? If you owned any BTC before August of 2017, you should have already received some free Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV at least. And for me, that turned out to be very profitable. Let me know what your experience was with airdrops down below in the comments, and then go ahead and click right here on the top right of your screen to watch my video on decentralized social media, which dives more into the future of the real tech giants that are coming bigger than Facebook and Twitter. See you guys in that video. Crypto Renegade out.